Hi there wig lover, this is Heather from sisterwigs.com and today I'm bringing you a review of the Soul Wig by Ellen Villa in the color Champagne Rooted. Now I've been reviewing a lot of light blonde human hair wigs this wig season and that's because we get them bought and then returned frequently because I know people are on a wild goose chase to find a perfect platinum human hair wig and most of them don't look ashy platinum, most of them will look like this. Okay, so as you can tell, this has a lot of residual gold in it. That's because this hair starts out black. So the sooner you recognize the limitations of the medium, the more happiness you will have in your pursuit because you will actually be looking for things that uh, are attainable as opposed to things that uh, are actually really difficult to find. In this case, this is a 22 a 24 and a 16 blended. The 22 should be an ashy color. The 16 should also be an ashy color. Only the 24 of that blend has actual gold in it. But because this is a human hair color, all of it's got a little bit of residual gold in it. <laughs> all of it does. Even the 22. Okay, and the 16 is the root up here, which is a nice dark blonde. But even that isn't super ashy. You can tell all I did was just, you know, kind of tone it to make it look a little bit more neutral. So you gotta understand that human hair has limitations and this is still a very pretty color. It's just more like a 613 or, you know, like a straight 24 maybe even than it is a platinum blonde. So if you're looking for real champagne blonde or real platinum, you're gonna have really, really hard time accomplishing that with this human hair because it starts out black. <laughs> there are limitations to what they can do. So that being said, because this is such a light color, it's also a little color damaged. Like you can feel it when you run your hands through it. Um, but you know what? It's not that bad. It actually still feels really nice to the touch. And you know, the weird paradoxical thing about hair that's got this kind of texture to it is that it styles easier than hair that is virgin, hair that has not um, been chemically processed in this manner. So there is actually an upside to getting a really light blonde like this and experiencing, you know, the, the, that kind of texture. It's that it retains its shape better when you try to style it with heat tools. Um, let me show you what sole looks like all the way around. Now, it does come with like this kind of weird wave pattern right out of the box, um, but you can always wash it and change the style to be whatever you want it to be <laughs> once you get her home. So this particular wig is a great length. It's a really nice mid-length. The front down is 12 inches, so it kind of hugs the face here. The crown down is also 12 inches. The sides are 11 inches down. Okay, there we go. And the nape is another 11 inches. So again, it's a great length. The cap construction on this one is top notch. It is really fantastic. So let me go ahead and show it to you. As you can see, we have a 100% hand tied lace front and monofilament top. They have little grippy bits of, of uh, polyurethane sewn into it. Um, we've also got a completely hand tied cap here in the back that is kind of stretchy back here. We have nice uh, felt here on the ear tabs with a little bit of polyurethane at the bottoms for more adhesive if you want it. Same deal with the nape. Nape is really, really soft fuzzy felt. And then there's a little strip of polyurethane right here at the bottom if you want to put adhesive at the nape there. It's also got Velcro adjusters so you can let it in or out and it can be let in and out a lot. And that's on both sides. The elastic is covered with a soft meshy material. So, I mean, it's a beautiful wig. It's very well made. You know, I just want to make sure that when you go looking for colors, you realize that they are important. Your selection is always going to be important. And you want to be really careful that when you start looking for light colors in particular, that you have really realistic expectations. 
Here's what that rooting looks like up close. It's a really beautiful root color on here. And I mean, it's a very pretty golden blonde. I'm going to go ahead and put sole back on. Now this is a small-ish cap. It says it's an average cap size. It fits kind of petite average to me. It definitely feels tight on me. But I have a big head, so keep that in mind. It's 23 and a half inches in circumference. I think this wig is a really great mid-length. Um, once you wash it, blow dry it, and style it how you want it, it will look gorgeous. And it's very easy to curl it like you saw uh, in the product photos. And in fact, if you used um, those curl formers to do this, you wouldn't even need to use heat. You could just let it dry with the curl formers on and it would take on that shape. So I actually really like this wig. I just want to make sure you know what you're getting when you go to buy a wig like this. And the hair actually feels really nice. It should style very easily. Just make sure you moisturize it really well. So this has a lot of hair on it. A lot of hair. It's 4.8 ounces, so it's got a lot of hair on it for such a mid-length. But I think this one's really nice. This is the Soul Wig by Ellen Villa. I mean, it's worthwhile just for the cap construction alone. In the color Champagne Rooted. So, I'm Heather from SisterWigs.com. Thanks for watching my wig reviews. Hopefully you like what you see, and if you do, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, have a great night. Bye-bye.